hello lolas welcome 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 back to my channel guys if you are new to the channel make sure that you go ahead and subscribe right now by clicking the red subscribe button make sure you click the bell to be a part of the notification squad and and make sure that if you're over 18 that you join the chatterbox the link is in the description bar or you will have a join button next to the subscribe button which it is a dollar and 99 cents per month and it's for exclusive live streams and dolly meetups basically social dolly meetups um well i call it meetups but we're hangouts or whatever you want to call it live this little boy just do you want to just sleep <laughs> so oh my god i decided i was gonna give him a bottle and i've you know you know when you get a new baby when when you start collecting and you start getting babies like back to back and stuff like that you begin to sometimes you get so caught up in the new baby then you don't have time for the old babies or you just that's all you see is the new baby new baby new baby i know you guys like follow other people's channels and when they get a new you know box opening come for a while you just you wonder like did you get rid of your whole collection because that's all you see is the new baby um it's the excitement of having something new and um you just kind of it just happens like it's just a natural thing it's new it's exciting we want to play with it we want to you know show it off whatever the case may be that's what happens um but as the new wear off of the the old babe the new baby sometimes you know you go back to the old ones and you realize that you actually love them a lot less and sometimes you love them the same or you appreciate them even more and what happened with me is I just kind of with Noah I just really don't bother him that much because he's a sleeping baby and I love sleepers but my thing with sleepers is that I tend not to bother them as much I don't know if you guys remember when I had Lizzie Lizzie rarely I rather rarely bothered Lizzie because she just laid but she was like my favorite baby like um and so that that's how it it's kind of been with Noah but um I started doing stuff with Noah you know getting dressed you know um, doing videos again a little bit with him and it's like oh my god like am I stupid or what like you know it's like um it's like what what was I thinking <laughs> I can never let him go like I I don't know sometimes you just you just get stupid but anyway so I was trying to explain to a friend the other day about like story time and that I, you know like I need to finish the story with with Nigel about his father and all this stuff and and then she was like I mean but it's a doll and I was like yeah we know it's a doll but you know it's story time we make up stories you know I'm making up a story as I go and it's just for fun and entertainment and you know it's it's nice imagination with real life props you know which is the babies and for the life of me I could not it took forever for me to get her to understand so I was saying yeah you know because he doesn't look like my guy da, 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 da. and she was like but it's a doll and I'm like yes can you just stop saying that we know that like so and I was just trying to explain it and I realized something I realized that you know at the end of the day they eventually said okay okay that makes sense now tell me some of the story but at the end of the day people that do not collect these dolls right that's not really in the hobby and then even some people that's in the hobby that just like collect as if they were porcelain dolls like they don't collect for the mothering aspect of it okay 
they are just collectors nothing wrong with it i'm just saying even them look at some of us and be like oh my god that just looks crazy or why are they doing it and i realized that we need to just get to a point where we just don't even bother explaining you know what i mean like i've i've gotten to the point where it's like and i don't even want to share with people that don't collect anymore and you know some people are curious like you know if somebody if i'm having something to my house and um, a family member brings over you know someone and they happen to see one of my 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 babies or whatever my dolls they're like curious like why do you do this you know what is this for etc etc and I'm like you know I feel compelled to explain it to them right because they're right before me and so I try so if I see where the conversation is going to a judgmental state where they're going to start judging me and my insanity, I just say, well, it's just my hobby. That's it. And then I'll just leave it alone because I am tired of trying to justify, you know, my hobby, who I am, what I do, all this. It's just too much. It, it, it's my happy place. It's my hobby. You don't get it. That's fine. Let's move on. Let's 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 not go there. Like, I'm not trying to force the hobby down to my throat. And I see a lot of women saying, my husband, you know, he doesn't get it. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't, you know, understand why I love these babies, etc., etc." You know what? Because it's not his hobby. He's not into it. He doesn't get it. He's not going to have the same passion or drive for it. You know, my guy, like, supports my hobby. Like, he's like, oh, yeah, this and other. But it's more from, like... Can't you sell that one for so and so and so? Like, you know, Noah probably the only baby that Noah and Paris is the only babies that he would be like, What is wrong with you? Why why don't do that? You know, that that'll be his thing, you know. Noah and Paris, me and more. That's it. The rest is like, so why don't you sell it? How much can you get for it? You know, it's like it's like, dude, I don't want to. It's like, well, it's not a real kid. I mean, you can always replace it, right? And I'm like, no. And that's another thing. Everybody that doesn't collect feel like you can get it over again. Well, can't you just go back to the same artist? Well, guess what? That same artist even may not, you know, do it over again the same way. You know what I mean? So it's like, but they don't get it. And it's like, who got time to keep explaining it? I don't. I don't know about you, but I don't. I don't feel like explaining it. I don't want to have to explain it. So, you know, I'm just like, I'm in a, a, a mood. I'm like over 40. <laughs> and yes, I still play with dolls. And yes, I'm still a grown woman handling my grown responsibilities. I have five children. And... I'm just gonna live my best life. I'm not hurting anybody. I'm not insane. I know reality from imagination. I know when I come on, I do my videos. I know that, you know, someone that come by go, oh my God, I can't believe she's playing with that doll. Like it's a real baby. Yes, I am. I really am. Yes, I just fed my baby fabric softener in a bottle. So what? Now, if I start feeding my grandbaby fabric softener in a bottle, then lock me up, please. <laughs> but it's just a doll. And it's just my hobby, you know? And it's like, you know, I've even asked some of my friends, like, when they start questioning, I'm like, do you have a hobby? Do you have something that you love? Do you know some people don't even realize that they have a hobby? They don't realize, like, they have a hobby but don't realize they have a hobby. Like, they don't realize that they collect when they do collect because I remember years ago someone asked me do you collect anything else other than dolls and I said no but then as I start thinking about it I don't know something came up like what else do you love other than somebody worded it differently like, what else do you love other than dolls and I thought I love really cool wine glasses so I'm always looking out for a really cool odd shaped wine glass and I used to um i don't have much of a collection now but i, I want to get back to it um when i was married i used to have a lot of different you know wine glasses you know 
and I mean I, I still have some now but that's something that I really like another thing that I do that's um a little bit more than the norm is bath and body work stuff like I will buy cases not buy a case but it looks like a case like I'll have right now even this day if you look under my bathroom counter there's one counter designated just to bath and body works and candles I collect candles I have cases of candles bath and body work candles um, bath wa wash stuff like that the other thing that I realized that I used to do too and I haven't did in a while because these are so expensive and I haven't really got back into it or and plus the company kind of not the same anymore but I used to collect home interior uh, paintings I used to love them because they were limited editions and like you get they would only sell so many and then the next season you would never get that picture again and I loved having rare wall art on my walls so even when I was struggling and barely had money like seriously it took me you know two months to pay off a $200 picture you know what I mean so that lets you know where I was financially I think I was making like six dollars an hour or something I don't know anyway um I would struggle and work overtime and do whatever I could do to to buy that to get that picture now the pictures I still have them but like some is in my house now some my you know my daughters have in their houses um or their apartments, houses, condos, whatever they are in. No, well, no, well, one is in an apartment. But anyway, nevertheless, um, so yeah, so I collect pictures, wine glasses, candles, and bath bodywear stuff, and dolls, and pampers. <laughs> Did you guys know he got a new pamper? Did you guys follow Instagram? So shout out to, oh my God, my one of my friends, I mean, We've been friends for a long time. You ever had this friend that just pop up out of nowhere and just like she's like an angel, I think. I don't know. Like it's like she always knows, like she always does something so kind for me when I'm having a bad day or something. It's like, how does she know this? Like I didn't even tell her this last time that when she said, Do you have these prints? I was like Oh my gosh. I was like, no. And she was like, I'm going to send them to you. And I was like, oh my God. I was like freaking out. And when I opened the box, like literally I could have cried. I was so excited about the Pampers. Okay. Because it wasn't so much about the Pampers. It was just that they were beautiful. It was just that, you know, some people do things. And I'm not going to say her name. She knows who she is. Um, Because I haven't asked her if she wants me to even discuss that. So, um... Because she's not a person that sends stuff for recognition or trying to get a shout out or anything else. She just does it from the kindness of her heart. And it's really rare these days. You know what I mean? But anyway, I mean, and that's another thing about this hobby. It, it connects you with so many amazing people. We always talk about the bad people. But think about the people that you have made friends with and how much you share with them about your life and stuff even outside of dolls that you can't even share with the people you see every day in your life you know what I mean I think it's something about being online you you don't you let your guard down like you don't feel as vulnerable because you feel like the people can't reach out and really touch you or do anything to you so you feel like you could say these things I don't know maybe that's why online dating gets so popular but anyway that's the subject for a whole nother day but nevertheless, I just wanted you guys to know just how much I really, let me see if I can zoom in to him. How much I've really gotten, um, see his own diapers? I've really um, gotten back into, you know, appreciating Noah and how beautiful he is. And if, guys, if you, you know, I should have said this in the beginning, but, um, and I, and I, you know, I hate that people judge me so hard about um, saying the artist's name and stuff like that. But sometimes I feel like I have to be sure that people understand which dolls I paint and which dolls that I buy. Because I never want someone to buy a doll for me and think that they're going to get Claire Teller's work. This is Willow Asleep by Claire Teller. 
he is the prototype number what our number you are by two and um so he is totally completed by her and so yeah I feel like I have to to tell you guys that every time because when new people come they don't know that you know I didn't paint him since I painted Phoebe they assume that I painted him you know it's just like baby Ada you know I paint so many Gabigails but now I have a Gabigail in here but I didn't paint that one so I'm always you know saying hey this doll is painted by or this is a such and such kind of doll because you guys need to know like I don't want to take credit for nobody else's work you know what I mean um, there was an artist that used to do that and I almost bought their work because I assumed that the dolls that they showed all the time were dolls that they actually painted. And when I asked them specifically about an AA doll or something like that, they said, oh, I never painted one before. Anyway, that's a whole other subject for another day. But nevertheless, um, I just don't want anyone to ever be confused but we will talk later and thanks guys for watching on my <laughs> um when you when you see him like in person and you see him up close the wrinkles and the modeling and the details everything just goes in together so nicely i love his level of softness too I think all of them are different and they all move a little different. I think Noah's um, head wobbles a little bit more than Nigel's. And then, of course, Phoebe is definitely my 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 loose boost. So, but I really love, love them all. Each one of them is just so special and unique in their own way. You know, it's just like every doll in your collection. Even the ones that I want to sell. Guys, can somebody buy my Eevee, please? <laughs> can I say that before I go? I have the Eevee for sale. It's $850. Okay, we'll talk later. Bye-bye.